one of the things we had to do right away on our ranch is address soil health concerns. So the first thing we did in 1993, we went 100% no-till. What that means is anytime you physically disturb the soil, you're causing destruction to the home of soil life, the soil organisms, you're uh, having a breakdown in the infiltration, the pathways in which water can be infiltrated into the soil. So we had to address that. So we went no-till. Since 1993, we have not disturbed the soil in any way since then. We also then started diversifying our crop rotation. We started adding different crops to it. And one of the things we've done is add cover crops. What a cover crop is, it's a crop that's not grown to be harvested uh, as a product for, and sold for cash. It's being grown simply to improve the life of the soil and the function of the soil. And what we have here is an example of a cover crop that we seeded last fall. This particular one here, this seed, it's an 18 species mix, which means there's 18 different crops in here, varying from oats and sunflowers, lentils, radish, turnips, buckwheat, cowpeas, soybeans, and a number of others. But all of those have a specific purpose. They improve the aggregation of the soil. They all release different what's called root exudates, and a root exudate is what feeds soil microorganisms. So we seeded this last summer in July, and that grew up in the fall. We then ran cattle. In other words, we allowed cattle to graze this uh, during late November, early December last year. So we did harvest a little of a bit through the, through the livestock. And we left the residue. The residue is extremely important on the soil surface. Notice the surface is covered because we don't want any erosion when we get rainfall or other events. Wind can cause a, a lot of erosion here in the northern plains. Armor on the soil surface protects the soil. Then when you put a spade in the ground, you'll be able to see the large number of earthworms we have. And you'll also be able to see the infiltration pores. Those earthworms and the decaying roots of all these different plants allow the water to be infiltrated. And those plants also start the soil aggregation. And when you notice this type of soil, it looks like cottage cheese. Whenever you see soil, with this cottage cheese type look, that's healthy soil because that's soil being held together by the glues. It's called glomalin. Glomalin is a plant secretion that causes soil aggregates, these little aggregates of soil to be formed. We haven't used any type of uh, pesticides or insecticides on our operation for uh, nearly 15 years. And you're seeing that in the large diversity of these macroorganisms. And all this relates back to human nutrition. And what we're, we're trying to do here is improve the resource and in turn produce healthy foodstuffs for the human population.